Hello and welcome to the Lethean's Let's Play of Terra Firmacraft. Uh, I'm also going to be using a couple of extra mods to make gameplay a little bit more enjoyable, for me at least. Uh, if we look at my mods, you can see I've got not enough items, which I'll just use to remind myself of any crafting recipes I might forget. Uh, Terra Firmacraft. Got the mod Extra Firma, which is a Terra Firma craft add-on. Uh, Wela, which will allow me to see what blocks I'm looking at. And Minimap. I think I'm actually using Voxel Minimap, which includes Zans. But I've turned Radar off on the Minimap, so I'll just be using it for general waypoint stuff. So, let's get started. I generated this world just a moment ago. Uh, have not looked around or anything yet. So it seems we have started in a plains biome, or at least an open biome. A terra firma craft changes the biomes in the game, among many other changes. Uh, oh, good, and we've got some trees right over there. Uh, if we look at our coordinates, which you can see in the upper right under my minimap, are up at negative 8,000. Uh, so we're actually very far from 0, 0. Uh, yes, way down, way up north from 0, 0 which means it is going to get rather cold here. Um, and you can see, one of the things I've already done is start picking up these berry bushes that were in sight of our spawn. These are going to be a good food source eventually. Um, the other thing we need to do right off the bat here is start picking up these stones. Um, these stones are the entry point to all of Terra Firma Crafts tech tree. Um, unlike vanilla Minecraft, there are no wooden tools really. Just start by napping stones to make your initial tools. And if we look, this rock is Gabbro. I don't remember anything about Gabbro. Um, the different rocks in Terra Firma Craft can come from the different geological layers, sedimentary, uh, metamorphic, or igneous, and which layer they are from actually determines um, how durable the tools you make out of them are. So it would be nice if this was igneous, which I think is the most durable. Uh, but I am not certain of that. The other thing we're going to need to start off with... Uh, well, there's clay. That's what clay looks like. And clay grows also, or not grows, but uh, these flowers grow on top of clay. So clay is all down here. Um, that's one of the early game materials that we will definitely need. <laughs> but we will also need sticks. Sometimes generate on the banks of rivers like this, but do not seem to have done so here. I'm actually going to head over to where I saw those trees and pick some sticks up from them. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Terra Firma Craft, uh, a lot of game mechanics are changed. Uh, tweaked or, yeah, or changed entirely. Um, trees are actually one of the first you might run across that are significantly different. Um, can't punch wood in Terra Firma Craft. It, oop, and we're getting quite a lag spike there. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but yes, you can't punch the trees and expect to get anything. But you can take out their leaves, which will drop sticks and saplings. Um, 
when we eventually get an axe, you'll be able to take out the wood. Um, but when you do, it'll take a while longer than you would normally expect in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, but it will take out the whole tree. Um, but the foliage, the leaves, will instantly disappear, not leave any of their drops. So if you want the sticks and the saplings, which at this point we really do, then you're going to have to punch some leaves first. Um, so my survival goals are relatively modest for now. For the time being, I need to get some basic tools, get some of that clay, and kill an animal, all before the first night. Um, and that is because Terra Firmacraft, you are very weak to start off with compared to the mobs. Um, okay, so why don't we make our first tool, and it will be an axe. If you right-click with a stack of rocks in your, uh, selected on your hotbar, it'll bring up the napping interface. You use that to remove pieces of the rock until you get the tool you want. And I'm going to make a couple of other tools, including a shovel. some knives. The knives will allow me to collect a straw from the tall grass. Okay. Shovel and axe. Okay, and we can take down these trees. As you can see, it takes a little longer than it would in vanilla Minecraft. We're going to need this wood. And it looks like that second tree was actually close enough that it also got taken down. That happens sometimes. Uh, that gave us 11 wood. Might be enough. What kind of tree is this? Chestnut. Actually going to take out one more of these. Get a few more sticks. A little more wood. We'll need wood to build a fire, which will be required for cooking food tonight. Um, yeah, a lot of game mechanics, especially in the early game like this, are changed in Terra Firmacraft. Okay, and go down. Um, the other thing we have to watch out for that you wouldn't in vanilla Minecraft are cave ins. So many more blocks in Terra Firma Craft are affected by gravity than in vanilla. Um, so grass is sort of affected by gravity. When you walk over it, it has a chance to be affected by gravity. Um, dirt is affected by gravity, and so when you're walking over the grass like this, you can have a cave in, which could easily kill you. Berries. These will be great once we eventually settle down. For the time being, I'm just going to carry them with me. Uh, you know what? This clay, this is where I'm going to come back tonight to get that clay. But for right now, I want to find an animal. Um, because if you look, the... Um, Hunger bar is slightly different in Terra Firma Craft, but if you look at the lower right of my screen, you'll see a green bar. That's my hunger. Going down pretty quickly. If I tried to just uh, wait it out, oh, oh, I see something good. If I, oh, I see several good things. Okay, this is bismuthite. This is a a metal we'll need later. Um, yeah, if I tried to wait out the night without eating anything. I would not survive it. Or I might just barely. Uh, this is a fruit tree. 
know what, I'm going to leave this for now until I'm ready to settle down, because I think I'll settle down near here. Um, I like these planes a lot. Uh, I like being able to see. Um, but, oh, that forest is also lovely, or will be once it renders fully. Um, so I'm actually quite liking the spawn we got here. If, if the world would actually render. Uh, but the thing that I have not seen yet is an animal. Be fantastic to actually get us our first meal. The sun is setting. Don't really have much time. Okay, uh, we will do without for the time being. It's too bad. Okay, I'm going to come over here. You see more of these uh, goldenrod flowers over here. I'm actually going to do just dig a pit and live in it for the night. I'm going to dig out sort of a trench here and hope that the mobs don't find me. What I really want to do actually is collect some of this. I'm gonna yeah, collect a little bit of this clay. That'll allow me to actually do something tonight. First thing I'm going to do is make a campfire. To do that, you put three sticks on the ground. Use an item called a fire starter. Actually, there. There we go. And this is how we are going to get our torches. Put a log on there. So, torches are not just made by crafting sticks with coal. You actually have to light the sticks in a fire like this. Oh, and I forgot to get any hay or straw. That's too bad. Probably do that. I will risk it a moment here. I can actually put torches down as I do. Okay. So, I think that it for out of that. Okay. I'm going to this guy out. Have my knife ready. Let's do a mad dash around here. I only needed eight of those. Hopefully, nothing followed me. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do... feel blind. Sometimes I play with the radar enabled uh, on my minimap, and it really helps me to know if there are any enemies nearby. But I decided against it this time. It's making me paranoid. Turn the volume up on my headset. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of the uh, clay shaping pottery. It's similar to the stone napping in that you take the clay on your hotbar and right click. Um, and you can make a number of useful things with clay. In this case, I'm making clay v uh, vessels. These are kind of like portable chests or backpacks for anyone who's um, got experience with like the forestry mod. Very small though. 
Uh, and then I'm also going to make two water jugs. Like that. And these are going to allow me to take water with me. Oh, sort of messed up. But luckily, most of these recipes are actually reversible. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And the way we do this is when you shift right click on the ground, place items, right click with some A. Need or straw, we need eight of that. Eight logs, which is why I wanted to make sure I had enough. And you light it on fire. Oof. Sounds dangerously like a skeleton. Something I would not like to see happening. Do is put dirt back there. a little roof. I would. Certainly not the most secure structure I have ever built, but I think I'm going to wait out the rest of the night here. Um, wait for this to burn. Uh, this is called the pit kiln. I don't think I mentioned. Uh, wait for the day. I will see you then. Well, the first hint of dawn can be seen in the sky, although you can also see there are mobs still about. But more importantly, if you look in the lower right, my hunger is completely depleted. So we are going to take a desperate run, or walk, really, into the wilds to try and find anything we can eat. Hopefully, the sun rising, we won't run across. And a zombie. Of course. I'm just going to keep going. Hope he doesn't catch up to me. The creepers. A beautiful, lush wilderness. Completely devoid of anything to eat. Once I uh, think, no, I will come back for those berries someday, but for now, yeah, okay, I've got something like 20 seconds, 30 seconds to eat something, kind of highly doubt I'm going to find anything, because even if I killed an animal at this point, I couldn't eat it immediately, I have to cook the flesh. So oh, unfortunately, that marks almost certainly our first death. Uh, one more hit and I'm out. Oh, and of course, there is the deer that would have saved my life if I had found him yesterday. I'm going to come right here and die next to him, so that... When I come back and get my stuff, I can kill him for food. It's survival of the fittest. He's the fittest this time, but next time it'll be me. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love my voxel maps. Really, any mini-map. Death waypoint. I would be, I suppose, literally lost without it. And not okay. Just flowers. I can't pick that fruit. I've kicked myself if the solution to my problems had been that simple. 
but okay, so that was a tough break. But consider this curse by the random number generator. Not a strong condemnation of my skill. <laughs> Although here are some carrots. If only I had seen them before my death, it could have been avoided. More berry bushes, carrots. There's a back. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and if I had wandered just a little further to the west, I would have also seen all of these lovely pepper plants. I will come back for those. I want to make sure that my gear, pheasant, uh, what it is, doesn't despawn. Oh, and a wolf killed that deer for me. Saved me the trouble. Kind. The issue is going to be whether I can actually carry all of this stuff now. Uh, if I combine the carrots, I can. Okay, make sure I have everything. Here's I do at least sing my stone. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Going to up my waypoints list. Delete this one because I hate seeing that death waypoint when I am not heading towards it, reminding me of my failures. Where I am going to... Peppers were... Mark them. Because new crops are always have any inventory space at the moment. That will change relatively quickly. Okay, so now we will know where those are for the future. Okay, have an inventory full of venison. Not mind sprinting. Cedar. I'm also going to collect a little more raw because I will need more vessels to store all this meat. There's our little first night hidey hole. Also need more. I don't care about cedar saplings. I already have a few. In fact, I'll probably toss those ones. Sticks, as you can see, can be found just on the ground. Okay, now I'm good. I have enough logs to run another pit kiln. And hopefully... Certainly, I think our pit kiln will have finished. There it is. Um, can toss a few things for the moment and get them base bone. Yeah, the dirt. Right. For now. Certainly I will want those. 
later. For the time being, we pick up all of these things and thankfully add some of this venison. vessels, and then those can actually be put back down. So, because you can't actually craft things in terra firma craft uh, with wood until you get a metal saw, nor, I might add, can you go prospecting or uh, digging up ore until you get a metal saw, or, sorry, a metal pick. Um, and because of that, the clay it's really your only storage option to start the game uh, oh and we also have our two water jugs as long as we have fresh water nearby which you can tell because it has these water plants in it you can fill those up and then drink from them i always keep two because they can break okay get a little more clay Very little more clay, but enough. Cook up another batch of vessels. Um, one of the rules I've run across in Terra Firma Craft, at least early Terra Firma Craft, is that you never have enough vessels. Not only do they serve as the only early game storage. Um, they reduce the spoiling on food, so food spoils in Terra Firma Craft, yet another change. Um, but if you store it in a vessel, it takes longer. I'm start this kiln up to get more vessels. Which will allow us to store all of our, oh, our free food. Okay, then I am going to start up the barbecue again and cook some of this venison, which will also make it last longer, reduce spoilage. Oh gosh, I wish I had cut down those extra trees now though, because will not last for long, this fire. That's okay. Get them in a moment. So, Terra Firma Craft, as you might have guessed by this point, is a little bit slower to start, and actually I think it's a little slower in all regards compared to vanilla, which is nice. It, um, means you have to work harder to succeed. Oof, and I wasted the day. Come over here and cut down more tree. Should provide the fuel for barbecuing up all of the venison we got. And then I'm going to spend this night barbecuing and, again, hiding. Uh, I'll let up there for now. Oh, actually, I'll need to access those. Uh, but yes, I'm going to cook up all the venison I can, wait out the night, and I will come back. And dawn comes. Well, I see the glow of dawn on the horizon. My pit kiln finished up, and I put all the cooked venison and some of the random tidbits from my inventory into all those jars, or vessels, that is. They are sitting here. Uh, this seems like as good a place as any to start our base. Got a source of fresh water, clay, obviously, nice open plains, but very close to a forest. It's 
where we'll probably set up. For now, though, I think it's about time to wrap up. Uh, next episode, we'll cut down some more of these trees and go searching for, well, many of the necessities of life in Terra Firma Craft. More crops, more wood, and maybe we'll start getting some metal, which will certainly be helpful. But that's next time. See ya.